So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal no. Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but... Oh, fuck, that's worse! We're just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just... I think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Fuck! There was no good choice! Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Feels like proof is the best because she'll be mad about it, but then you'll find proof that she'll thank you, right? I have no idea, what Anna. Do, Max? Both situations are bad, man. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't... I don't want to lose Kate. Because honestly, she's like the only character I really care about in this game right now. And I almost want to spoil it by looking it up. I have no idea. There's no good option because one, you go to the cops and she says she, she's going to go to the principal, which she's he's owned by Nathan. And the principal doesn't trust me already. But, and it seemed to, like, Kate was happy when I said, yes, go to the cops, because I believe you. That made her happy. But then when she's like, cool, you'll be with me in on this, and then we backpedaled, I could see that being very hurtful, like, wow, you actually don't believe anyone else will believe me. That would be very hurtful. And then she just kind of turned and she's doing what she's doing now. And she she has that feeling of like, I guess I'm alone in this. No one will help me. However, the proof one, she blew up at us. And she can be focused on being angry at us, I suppose, while we try to look for evidence. But it also got interpreted as in no one will believe you. And that's not okay either. God! I don't like this game, guys. I feel like it's the game is rigged. I, I'm pretty sure... Something's gonna happen to Kate. And I'm pretty sure the game is rigged no matter what. Something's going to happen to Kate. Maybe I should just prepare for that. No. No. Mm, I want to save her. Mm. 
Man, I wish I could just fucking talk with her on my own without the game text. Be like, hey, Kate, you know what? You matter. You're an awesome person. I don't care what anyone else says. This place is full of toxic people. Don't let them snuff out your light. I don't like this, guys. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please uh, Absolutely, Kate. I don't like it. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. He hurt you. Should I go to the police? I'm trying to think what I would do in real life. But in this situation, if the whole freaking town is owned by it, a family and he can get away with anything, it doesn't matter. That means the police are probably owned. Oh, God. Music kicked in. The converse could be say as well as though they could destroy the proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. I'm sorry, Kate. I just made her feel more hopeless. I hate this game! Either way, she feels hopeless. Because the cop won, she's like, yay, hope. And then you take the rug out from underneath her. Ugh. really don't want to play this game anymore. This game's going to break me. I'm sorry. I say I love you. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. I care about you, Kate. You're a good person. Dude, I could not respond like that right now. Okay. I woke up this morning a different person, even if nobody knows yet. My yesterday's intense revelations with my remind power and saving Chloe's life, among other cray cray. As Victoria might say, say, events at Blackwell. I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about the freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I piled, I pulled an all-nighter on time. Physics research. 
not being worn, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm so glad Chloe and I are a team again that has to be destiny. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear, it's like Battle Royale, just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria could make her, me feel dirty in the shower. Yeah, th there's no reason to behave that way. I'll keep this on in the background. Have a good night. Night, Anna. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Sleep well. Eight. You want to go to breakfast? Why can't Jesus, I ask her to come to this breakfast? Is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. I don't like this. Now, this game is encouraging me to be Snoopy Snoopy to find evidence that Kate is okay. I'm going to call you out. Fine, I won't disturb you. No brook here. There's no music and it's worrying me. I need to delete that. Be the change you wish to see. Screw you. you no. You're, you're poison to this world. You wish to see the world poison? Maybe that's actually what she wants. Juliet. Nobody's here. Hey! There's Do I want Brooke to speak to you? Looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. <laughs> now I'd respond. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Hey, Sam. Hanging out with the birds? The birds are flocking around Samuel. I wonder if there'd be a third bird if that one didn't die. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. 
Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay. Where am I headed off to? How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract Squirrel. Release the Kraken. Come on, Squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Am I going to take pictures of him? I better not get near the bench or the Squirrel won't take the food. Wowzer, it's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Okay. I'm still worried about Kate, guys. I definitely won't play with this thing again. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but... Does he need a- How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Yeah, that looks like a bikini shot. That's not okay. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Uh-oh, I'm gonna get caught, aren't I? Hey, Taylor. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without T Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Well, fuck off. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Taylor. Conversation over. All right, I'm going to figure something out in this conversation, I think. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I really? That should shock I me. To talk. I'm glad we did. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. All right, so I think I need as many... F I was going to say friends, but more of the allies on my side. To hopefully save Kate. This is Nathan's father. This is a message he lent you that attempts to slander and blackmail and suddenly met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. Not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this final point running. Fuck off. Protect your douche son. Okay. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, it came out or came back to my room to find the creepy photo montage but find this creepy photo montage only nathan would be this disturbed the thought that nathan was here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up better start being more careful around here i almost want a surveillance system now as if things 
Dang it. I should have signed up for that surveillance system. Or not signed that petition, because then maybe we could find out who's gotten into my office or my room. That's a cute, adorable owl. I want that. As if things weren't drag dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan, Victoria, no clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still have to get Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went. Crap, that's what I was going to do. I was going to, um, after the reading, doing the second option about go to the cops, I was going to read the journal to see what the journal said and then rewind time. Crap. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad it was until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed like some emo goth then, and Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. She was just crying in the dark, and that was so sad to see her like this. Just more sad is that I wish I could take a picture of her framed in her expression misery. That's fucked up. Didn't mean it.